So let's take a look at how parse glob works. And we'll build it up just straight from the beginning. So I'm going to have a template, templates folder. I'm going to have main.go. And I'm going to have package main. And I'll have func main. And, uh, and, um, and then in templates, I'm going to have some templates. And so the templates will be file, and it'll just be one.go html. And then it'll be two dot, two dot go html. And then it will be, you know, uh, what's somebody's favorite Italian food? What? What? Lasagna. Lasagna. Lasagna.php. And I'm going to associate PHP with text files. Why not? And this one will be what's well, somebody's favorite place to travel? Anaheim. Anaheim. Oh, well, I know why you like going there. DLAN. We'll do it Anaheim. Anaheim.DLAN will be the file extension. Doesn't matter, right? And so now I've got those, and I'm just going to say this is file one. Why is it putting in a... There we go. This is file two. This is lasagna. This is file Anaheim. Close others. All right, so there's this new function called the init function. It initializes your, pro your program. And uh, templates can return a variable and an error when I parse glob. And it's going to be template.parse glob and I want it from package text boom and so I need to give it the glob where it's at it's in templates forward slash anything that's in there and then I need to if error is not equal to nil log fatal and uh, we're gonna log whoops error and then we've got our TPL so there we've initialized our TPL, but we need that to be available throughout the entire package scope. So I'm going to do var TPL is a pointer to from package template type template. Okay, and then I no longer need to declare; I just need to assign. So I'm taking away the short declaration operator, but it's not liking that because error hasn't been de defined. So I'm just going to do var error is uh, type error. Type error. Var error is type error. Where's that type located? Built in? Built in. Type error. There we go. And so now that's all set up. Is that how I did it before down here? Uh, TPL must. Ah, I use TPL must. I like that even better. So I'm going to uh, get rid of the error, get rid of that, and there's this um, other function, and it's from uh, package template dot must, and it takes in a pointer to a template and an error, which is exactly what template dot parse glob returns. So template parse glob returns a pointer to a template and an error. So this code right here runs, and it returns a pointer to a template and an error. Must takes in a pointer to a template and an error, and it returns a pointer to a template. And what's it do? Right? If there's an error, it panics, 
And uh, panic is built-in function stops normal execution of the Go routine. Normal execution stops any function. So it's a lot like fatal, log fatal. So that's fine. So it just panics. And, uh, and then uh, I'm ready to use my TPL. So there's the code. You don't have to be like, whoa, how would I figure that out? You would have had somebody like me show you. <laughs> okay, so you're, okay, you're, it's like, oh, wow, how did I know to say, you know, la platilla y huevos con frijoles, por favor. Right, how would I know to say that? Well, somebody showed me. And then I was like, oh, that's how you ask for a plate of beans with, what did I ask for? eggs eggs and beans that's how i ask for a plate of eggs and beans and you say please afterwards otherwise you might get your food spit in <laughs> right how would i know to ask for that somebody showed me how do you know to type this in somebody showed you but you're learning also how to read the documentation so that you'll be able to go look at the packages and say hey look at what i might be able to do so that's what you're learning now i'm ready to execute some stuff so i've got my TPL variable and as methods attached to it I've got all these different things including execute template or execute and execute template is going to allow me to specify the template name so I'm going to do execute template and I'm going to execute just to OS standard out and the template I'm going to do here will be one.gohtml and the one I'm and the data I'm going to pass in will be nil and template execute probably returns an error, returns an error, right? So I have to deal with that error. And so I'll just do error, colon equals. And if error is not equal to nil, boom. Uh, I don't know. What was the other one that it was? Panic, error. I like log fatal right now. Just shut it down. Let's do this actually. Let's see what panic does. Error. Sweet. And does uh, execute template need anything else? Template, writer, string, returns an error. Okay, looks good. Let's see what happens. And then I'm just going to duplicate this. So if I want a little more space. And this one, I'm just, since error's already been declared, I'm just going to reassign a value to it instead of declaring it again. So we have one dot go HTML. We have two.gohtml. We have lasagna.php. Doesn't matter, it's just files and how they're named. We have anaheim.dland. And uh, and then finally, let's let's blow it up. And see what panic does. This is file one, this is file two, this is file lasagna, this is file Anaheim, panic, template, no template, let's blow it up, associate with template, Anaheim, go routine one running, main, main, right, so package main, func function main, user Todd McLeod, da, 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 line 37, line 37, right, exit status two. Remember what we learned in log fatal, exit status zero, everything was good. Any other number, something went wrong. So panic exits us also. What would have happened if we'd had log.fatal? And uh, log.fatal asked us for like a text, whoops, and error. And uh, exit status one, and we had whoops, Right, and then the error was template, no template, let's blow it up. Associated with template Anaheim DLAN. Right, so it kind of like gave us a little bit of error text reporting. So it logged a little stuff out. We'll leave it at panic just so you can see there's different ways you could do it. All right, so that's your next homework assignment that I'll give you is just to parse a parcel glob.